Hi, I'm Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to change your IP address using your router. Let's go to our computer. We're going to open up our web browser. And you first have to be on the same network as your router, either by wirelessly accessing it or being plugged into it. What we're going to open up is the IP address of the router, which is usually 192.168.1.1. Now it's going to ask you for your administrator password on the router. By default, it's usually admin and admin. I'd suggest you change your password if you have not already. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the status tab. This is a Linksys router, which is a very common type of router. And what we're going to want to do is release the IP that we already have by clicking on this IP release. Now my router is not currently connected to the internet. But if it was, I would have had IP address and all this other information displaying here as well. When you release it, it's dropping your internet connection, which will effectively disconnect all of your computers and laptops and other devices uh, from the internet. So the next step after that is to do an IP renew. Now that will send out a signal to your internet service provider that says you want to refresh your IP address and you're asking for a new one. Now it's up to them whether they give you a new one or the same one that you had previously. So it's important to maybe release your IP address, wait about 30 minutes or an hour for them to cycle through their addresses, and then execute this renew process. Keep in mind that they hold all the cards, and if they continue to give you the same IP address over and over again, you should probably call them and request a new one. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to change your IP address using your router.